Hello, River Landing. Charles Dickens was describing more than two cities when he talked about the best of times and the worst of times. That's actually a pretty good description of the Olympics, where you witness unbridled joy in victory and the deep disappointment of defeat. Elite Olympians are young and their identity is really wrapped up in winning. When they don't, and most don't, they have the worst of times. But there is another city, another Olympic model, where scores and distances and points and medals don't define the experience. Where all the times for all the participants are the best of times. I'm talking about the Special Olympics. My daughter represented North Carolina in the 2018 National Games in Seattle. And next year we'll represent New York in Orlando. And I've seen the difference in these two metaphors of life, these two cities. You hear regular Olympians when they don't win medals say that just being an Olympian and competing is enough. But you can tell they're struggling to convince themselves of that value system in a world that doesn't believe it. It's so different in Special Olympics. No one there is valued because they perform better than anyone else. In Special Olympics, there is intrinsic value in the joy of sport and the celebration of doing one's best regardless of the outcome. Special Olympics doesn't do this by giving everyone a medal. They do it by giving everyone encouragement, support, and love, regardless of their capacity. Losing a race doesn't mean you're a loser in Special Olympics. Losing a competition doesn't mean all your hard work was wasted because there is a different value system at work. There is some temporal value in pushing the limits of human achievement, and we all see and enjoy that in the Olympics. But a value system based on pouring your life into performance takes you to a different destination than pouring your life into other people, which is called love. We call the participants in Special Olympics handicapped, disabled, limited, or worse. But when it comes to love, they've already found gold. I hope you do too, my friends. Have a great week.